Hello fellow foodies, and thank you so much for joining into my channel. We're gonna be going on a three-part series to New Delhi, India. So pack your bags and come along with me. We're gonna be exploring some of the most exciting back alleys that North India has to offer, where we're gonna be trying spicy, greasy, delicious food. I can't wait for you to check it out. It's sure to make your taste buds dance. This would not be a good food tour without me bringing you to the iconic Old Delhi also known as Purani Dili, and formerly known as Shah Jahanabad. And of course, we're gonna start our day by going to one of the most famous restaurants in Old Delhi called Kareem's. It's still the same bloodline, actually, that was creating food for Shah Jahan and those constructing the Taj Mahal back in 1639. Okay, so our food from Kareem's just arrived and I am so psyched by this. So according to um, the servers, this has been cooking for about six hours and inside is a whole bunch of masala and garlic and cardamom and I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't even know and I'm pretty sure it's like a secret recipe and I love to kind of stir it around because there is quite a bit of oil, it kind of gets mixed in but you can just see how like thick that gravy is, like just so so delicious and of course it's gonna have all the tomatoes and onion as well but yeah let's uh let's give this a try so you would break the bread apart and i'll just put half of it back it's super hot and it honestly just smells so delicious and you kind of just take a bit of it plop it on your plate get a nice couple pieces there There you go. So this is mutton, uh, which is like goat meat. And yeah, very, very popular among uh, the Muslims. So let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, it's like mouth watering. So tender. So juicy. Probably the richest breakfast you'll ever have. Full of oil and spice. Spice, but it's not spicy. It's just spice. Like it's just a lot going on in your mouth. And absolutely delicious. Of course they serve you with um, chilies as well and other things too. I think this is what? Ginger, <laughs> some sliced ginger. Very strong. Oh, and then of course you've got lime as well, which everybody loves to put that on their bread and everything too. Perfect. So, bon appetit. Let's go for it. Yeah, so we've super enjoyed Kareem's breakfast. Um, and just to give you an idea of cost, we paid 600 rupees for the two of us, which is equivalent to about $10. Um, so yeah, just to give you that idea, yeah, I'm absolutely, stuffed too by the way like it was more than enough food to easily have like for probably three or four people so anyway yeah oh my goodness okay so this is the thickest lassi i have ever seen you can see how they take the fat from the top and they kind of blend it and grind it all in they've mixed sugar and um it's just so thick and creamy and not even frothy it's just cream um, and then of course it's served in a very classic clay cup. This is literally made with just mud and it's a one-time use, it's disposable. And once you're done with it, you're done with it. Mm. It's so thick that you almost have to like chew it. It's so creamy. This is definitely one of the best lassies I think I've ever had just because it's so like so pure in some ways, I don't really know how to describe it otherwise, but it is absolutely delicious. This is only something you would find in India. The quality is unlike no other. Mm. Like look at these chunks. There's just like literally, literally just chunks of like deliciousness going on. Like so fatty and so chewy. Honestly, this is like a meal in and of itself, basically. Like if you were hungry, you could just go drink lassi and you'd be good. <laughs> in, this way, in this case, I would almost say like, eat lassi. You could literally just eat this lassi. Mm. 
it's also just kept so cold too and when it's so humid out right now like right now it absolutely poured on us which is fantastic for the environment i'm sure we just need all this rain but definitely terrible on my feet because they are soaking and it's really hot and i need to go find some flip-flops or as they say in india chapel uh, because my feet will just be roasting and it'll pretty much just stench my shoes to death after this So as soon as we're done this nice cold lassie, yeah, we're gonna be getting some nice flip-flops and just to give you an idea That was 40 rupees. So Very cheap and a massive portion too. Like it was honestly just like a full meal in a cup. Okay Chandi chok, no? Kitna kaunga? Kitna kai? 50 rupees, 50 rupees Oh yaar, a manga hai Well, one of these will do. All right, well, I'm very excited to be able to let my feet air out <laughs> after that monsoon rain this morning. Pop that in here. We got a Jalebi store. So the history of Jalebi is this. It originates in ancient Persia, which is today Iran, and it slowly made its way over to Pakistan. During 1947, the Punjabi Hindus used jalebis to defend themselves by pouring it over the top of their gates as they were defending their havelis and defending themselves from being attacked. So as they poured these jalebis over, it boiled their attackers to death. Once these Punjabis were able to be freely escorted to India, many of them ended up in Old Delhi, where today they're creating the same jalebis and serving it to many of the people who also were their attackers. In some ways, food is kind of beautiful because it, it actually helps with reconciliation and community. And people often eat together despite their differences. So as you're watching these jalebis being cooked, one of the things to think about is jalebis in the West are today's version of fennel cake. Many of you will know fennel cake from different fairs and even Disneyland or Knoxbury Farm and places like that where they serve it with strawberries and icing sugar. It's like honestly scolding hot right now so I'm gonna kind of be careful eating it but yes, totally soaked in sugar and fried. Yeah, so here we go. Oh, honestly, it's like crispy but mouth watering at the same time. As you bite through the crispiness, you just taste like pure, sort of like sugary oil, and it's so delicious. Like, it, this is definitely one of the most popular, probably, sweets um, in India. Um, it's definitely worth your while to come here and try this when you get here. I will say, honestly, one or two is probably enough. Like, I think after, yeah, even after like one, I'm kind of like, okay, that's like a big pack of punch in your mouth. Mm. It almost has a bit of like a floral taste to it as well, like, like a slight hint of floral. Um, but yeah, very much reminds me of something you would eat at the fair back in North America. Mm. But yeah, unfortunately I'm not disciplined enough to just put this down, so I'm definitely going to finish the whole thing. I did burn my tongue a little bit, but it's so delicious. 
Um, I would highly recommend coming back to this place if you have a chance. It's just an experience that you won't find anywhere else. So this is the uh, world famous spice market here in Old Delhi. Tons of stores that are filled with sort of, as these guys call it, specialists in flavored dry fruits. And you've got other ones selling masalas and they're all dealers of sort of wholesale and retail. I've actually met um, chefs even who come from all over India and even parts of the world where they do a lot of their sourcing from this market specifically. Spicy is here, some video? Yeah. So come inside. Okay, you wanna go inside and take some video? He can explain you about all the spices. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. India, as most people know, is very famous for their spices, or in India we call it masalas. Um, and so you've got different things here. You've got um, cinnamon, and you've got cloves, you've got black pepper, you've got turmeric. Turmeric is, uh, th this is, this is what turmeric powder comes from. And I'm not sure what all of these are actually. It's, it's, coriander. Ah, coriander, okay. White pepper. White pepper. This one, maize flower. Yeah. Nutmeg. Nutmeg, oh yeah, this is a, yeah, okay. Ah, okay. This is the actual one. Ah, there you go, okay. And dried nutmeg. Dried nutmeg, okay, awesome. Or as they call it, mace flower. Um, yeah, you've got uh, cardamom. Yeah, cardamom, which is used in a lot of stuff here as well, um, including chai. Black cardamom. Uh, you've got black cardamom. Cooking. Yeah, you've got cumin seeds, and then you've got um, salt. Salt. Ah. Black salt. There you go. You've got a black salt rock. Mango. This is mango. Mango tea. Oh. Oh, that smells so good. That's awesome. Who are you kissing me, Benaya? Mango tea, Benaya. Yes. Huh. Mango tea. Yes. Lychee. Lychee tea. Oh, that is so nice. Jasmine. Jasmine. And blueberry. And blueberry. Blueberry. Really? Green tea. Ah. So, what else you got? This is cool. In masala chai. Masala chai, okay. Indian very famous. Indian tradition like chai. So this has ginger, ginger cardamom, cardamom cinnamon, cinnamon, cloves, cloves, yeah. Star anise. Pepper. Pepper, okay. Anise. Star, star, anise. star anise. Yeah, yeah, star anise, yeah. Rose petal. Rose petals, okay, yeah. Okay, so when I smell this, it smells like Christmas. That's what that smells like, and it smells absolutely delicious. Chocolate tea, like milk Oh, seriously. Oh, that just smells so delicious. It's like, it almost has kind of a, yeah, very sort of dark chocolate smell to it. Like almost like melted chocolate. Lemon honey green tea. Lemon honey green tea. So that's a very popular tea that we have in the Himalayas as well, which is honey lemon ginger tea. Um, of course you get that in Delhi and stuff, but a lot of people in the winter really like, love to drink that. Yeah, kahwa, Kashmiri kahwa, green tea with the kahwa. spices. Yes, yes, okay. And mix like 11 spices. So don't get this confused with kahwa, which means crow in Hindi. Green tea with the spices. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And you smell some saffron. Oh, saffron. and of course we've got saffron. An Indian best Whoa. spice for saffron. That is really a beautiful smell. So saffron is probably one of the most labor intensive, which is why it's so expensive. These actually come from a flower from inside the petals. And these are the seeds essentially that they, that they pick out. Um, very, very labor intensive. Very expensive, um, but definitely some of the best flavor and color that adds to a lot of the, um, specifically a lot of the sort of Kashmiri food like Rogan Josh, um, which has a lot of saffron in it, or you can make a lot of saffron rice as well by adding just a few of this. Um, and then of course you've got Kawa tea, which also has saffron in it. This is so nice, it's so beautiful. Sorry, I can't get the lid on though. Awesome. He is Spanish best chef. Ah, both of you. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned. Every Sunday evening, we're gonna be uploading new material so that you can follow us on these epic food adventures. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so that you can stay informed on when new material is coming your way. So we'll see you in Delhi and beyond.